This is a quick video on Butler Soy Curls. It is a ingredient that you can add to your vegan or plant-based backpacking meals. And I'm gonna start maybe doing some more in videos on just individual ingredients because I know with the other meal plans, there's been questions on just one single ingredient that might be a little bit different or weird than what you're normally used to. And also, I have a meal coming up in which I was gonna use this for, and so instead of kind of explaining what it is in the comments, I can just refer back people back to this video so you have a better explanation of what it is. So, just real quick. A lot of people for the other meals have asked about TVP. So TVP stands for textured vegetable protein, and I did have that in my other meal plans. Why this and not the Butler soy curls? Because it's probably just what I grabbed from the cabinet or what was easiest, and probably because at the time I was out of these. This is, you can find in most stores, around here at least nowadays, it might be buried on a shelf and you might have to ask. This is only available at one store that I know of, so whenever I go buy it, I tend to stock up on it. So if I don't go buy that store for a while, I end up using the TVP. So the TVP, textured vegetable protein, it's basically they take the soybeans and they turn it into flour and they take all the fat out on the label, it'll say defattened, and what you're left with is protein and carbs. What they're really doing is they're taking all the valuable soybean out of it, soybean oil, out of the soybean and this is what you're left with where they kind of mush it all together and put a lot of pressure in it and squeeze it and shoot it out of a little tube and then it fluffs back up and you're left with the TVP. I don't know if you can kind of see it if you've never seen it before. You know, it's little tiny granules. The Butler soy curls are made from the entire soybean. Um, the soybeans are grown in the United States. They're non-GMO, no pesticide. And when they dry the soybeans, they do it at a really low heat. And when you do something at a low heat, you retain more of the nutrients in it. So with this, you're still gonna have a lot of carbs, you're still gonna have a lot of protein, but you're also gonna have all of the fat still in it. So TVP, zero grams of fat. This per serving is 4.5 grams of fat. Little less protein, little less carbs, but you know, not that much. Um, this is great for any meal because what it does is it just tastes like nothing if you just soak it in water. Um, but if you soak it in something else, for example, my daughter just made soup last night. And so if you put it, take it out of chicken soup, I'm sorry, not chicken soup, she made vegetable soup, it kind of looks and it will taste just like a normal person like chicken. And it basically takes on the flavor of whatever you put into it. Now on the package it says you have to soak it for 10 minutes, so it's a great ingredient for cold soaking backpacking meals. Um, I have found that usually 10 minutes is a little too al al uh, what's that word? Al dente, al dente. there we go, uh, for me. And sometimes it's still a little hard in the middle, it still tastes good, so normally I'll go a little bit more than 10 minutes. Um, and even if you're someone who likes to start your cold soaking early, so maybe you say it's three o'clock in the afternoon, you're taking a break, you put some water in your container, um, this doesn't get soggy, it doesn't get mushy, uh, it still retains its, um, its texture and its chewiness. Uh, it also comes in obviously soy curls, it's long, and you could break it up and make it smaller, so if you want to do like a, a taco thing or something like that. So, I uh, highly suggest checking these out. Um, even online, if you try to buy them online, if you can't find them in a store near you, they seem to be a little bit expensive. Um, but again, I think on the package here it says, when hydrated, it's approximately one and a half pounds. So if you think about meat eaters, or if you are a meat eater, or if you were a meat eater and you're transitioning, how much would you pay for a pound and a half of meat, right? And so if this ended up being six dollars, you'd say, oh, that's expensive. But you know, for an, a meat equivalent, that's not expensive at all. So it's quick, it's light, it's good for cold soaking, it's vegan, it's plant-based, it's gluten-free. Um, give it a try. So it's Butler Soy Curls. Thanks.